This is Javier Encinas, and today I'm going to show you how to design a counter four retaining wall using as the retain. This is the typical uh, uh, counter four retaining wall uh, module. It's organized in two panes. The left pane is dedicated to the input, the right pane dedicated to the output. The software is organized in tabs. Uh, the main tabs are at the top, geometry, loads, materials, informant, at a glance, Condensed detail and graph. Each tab has a sub tabs for each uh, element. For example, geometry of the stem, geometry of the counterfort, geometry of the footing, and geometry of the backfill and, and cover, and so on. The first step is to uh, enter the information of the geometry of each element. In a counterfort retaining wall, the stem is a horizontal continuous beam supported laterally by the counterforts. For that reason, the stem is always concrete rather than either masonry or concrete. In this case, masonry doesn't work because the main reinforcement acts horizontally. So the, the, the stem material is always concrete. And in this tab, you can define the stem height and the stem thickness. You can see that the stem is prismatic, so it's not tapered, the same thickness at the top and at the bottom. You use the next tab to uh, design the counterforts. In this tab, you specify the dimensions at the top, dimension at the bottom, the thickness, and the spacing of the counterforts. In the footing tabs, you specify the footing thickness, the toe length, the, the, the heel length. If there's any key, you de define the key as well. And finally, uh, in the backfill and cover, you specify the dimensions of the soil above the footing, the soil cover on top of the toe, or the backfill on top of the heel, the backfill height, and the backfill slope. So in this uh, geometry tab, you define completely the dimensions of your wall. The footing can be supported directly on soil or can be supported on piles. If it's supported on piles, just click on the check mark here and it's supported on piles. In addition to the dimensions previously entered, thickness and dimensions of the toe and the heel, this new tab is there. Piles. In this tab, you enter all the information regarding the piles. For example, the edge distances at the toe and at the heel side, uh, the pile spacing, and a pile type, which can be round, can be square, or it can be edge shape, steel. Uh, the pile dimensions and the embedment can be varied as well. As you can see here, can be either vertical or battered. You can specify up to three rows of piles. The second row can be battered as well, if necessary. And here in this tab, you specify the dimensions, the spacing, and uh, all the geometry uh, regarding the piles. In the next tab, loads, there are multiple loads that you can enter in as deep written. In the backfill ta uh, tab, you specify the backfill material, the density, and uh, what kind of earth uh, lateral pressure you are applying, if it's a rest, if it's coulomb, if it's ranking, or equivalent fluid. You specify the internal friction angle, which is the material uh, property, and uh, finally the water table measured from the bottom of the, of the footing. The next tab, if you have any store charge on top of the uh, backfill, you specify it here. And you can specify also a strip pressure, you know, with a limited uh, width and a certain depth. In the concentrated tab, you specify any concentrated load at the top with the corresponding eccentricity. And in this tab, the wind and seismic, you can specify the wind pressure applied on the wall and uh, any uh, seismic loads, uh, the corresponding horizontal and vertical uh, coefficients. In the tab materials, you specify the properties of the materials of the different elements, the stem, footing, and the piles. You know, the, the concrete F'C, uh, the rebars, and the density of the concrete. 
for the pipes, you specify the uh, allowable capacity in compression and tension and lateral. In the reinforcement tab, you specify the rebars for, for your wall. You specify the uh, bar sizes and spacing for the rebars on the uh, uh, exterior face of the, of the wall, of the stem, or in the backfield side of the, of the stem. In the counterforce, you specify the main, the main rebars, which are you know, the rebars following the shape uh, of the counterforce, that's the main reinforcement. You specify that as well. The rebars can be cut off at, at a certain distance, as shown here, or can be continuously uh, up to the top, or you can specify a, a cut-off length. The stirrups, uh, vertical or horizontal stirrups, can be specified here. For the footing, you specify the bottom bars and the top bars, the bar size and, and spacing as, as, as before. In the right side of the form, you can see the results. At a glance, shows you uh, a summary of the results in just in one page. You can see immediately if something needs attention, for example, here, you know, the, the vertical tension in the counter for needs attention. Also, the moment capacity of the footing uh, uh, needs attention here and so on. The next tab, the condensed, shows you a more detailed set of calculations organized by topic, but also in a condensed form where you, you can follow immediately uh, all the calculations. For example, the overturning calculations are shown there, uh, stem design or the counter for design and so on. The detail tab shows you a more detailed set of calculations organized by topic as well with exposed formulas and also with reference to the ACI code. In this tab you can follow step by step the detailed calculations of, 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 the, of the program. Finally, in, a, in the graph tab, you can follow graphically your design. The stability analysis is shown here with all the pressures applied to the wall and the forces resulting from these pressures and the safety factors. So here in this page, you can see immediately, for example, that the sliding is, is uh, there's a problem there. So you need some lateral uh, resistance for, from the piles. In the stem, you can see also the pressures applies to, uh, applied to the stem by load combination and a graphical view of the shear and moment diagram of the stem, which acts as a continuous beam over the counterforce. The footing tab, you can see a plan view of your pile cap with all the locations of the piles and here the shear and moment diagram of the of the pile cap as well showing the forces per load combinations as well in the construction tab you can see the rebars resulting from your from your design if if your wall is not supported on piles just uncheck here let's assign a shear key so you can see also the reinforcement of your wall without the piles in the footing tab, you can see how to design the toe with the design ratios and the controlling load combination and the heel forces with the design ratios as well and the controlling load combination. And uh, the stability analysis shows you the pressures, the bearing pressure now because we don't have piles anymore, the, the passive pressure acting in the, uh, in the front of the wall and the, the forces resulting from, from your analysis with the safety factors uh, per load combination. You can print out also the results. The, you can print print preview of the condensed report that shows you a pre-formatted report, high quality that you can print out. Or you can print also the contents or the detail report shows like that with all the formulas for your records 
in a preformatted, preformatted uh, you can see all the pages there. So this is the counter for retaining wall design module in ASDIP written for. Thank you for your attention. See you next video.